last time on BDZ, we talked about the episode 12 of Dragon Ball Super, the dub. Um, great one again, does not do these videos because he does not watch the sub, but I do and I keep up with it weekly, so I will be doing these solo videos for you guys that actually watch the subs. Um, anyways, though, this episode, nothing, really, nothing super important really happened. You know, Vegeta's having a child, Bola, and, um, he's being hilariously overprotective. He was sitting there the whole time, like, with his arm crossed, away from the crowd of people, and kind of just keeping his ears, um, uh, like, available so he could hear if his daughter was upset, and every time she cried, he went, like, Super Saiyan Blue. Yamcha <laughs> tried to hold her, and he went Super Saiyan Blue, and then, uh, Hercule tried to hold her, she cried, and he went Super Saiyan Blue. It was actually hilarious, and, um, it, for the most part, I feel like it was just an episode that Akira Toriyama really wanted to put out there, just, just to be a little bit humorous and bring, like, the comic relief to, uh, Dragon Ball again. So it was one of those kind of episodes, and then Yamcha hasn't figured out that he hasn't been invited yet and he's not going to get invited but he created his own little fantasy to like do this epic entrance when they uh when they start going to the world of power because he or the, not the world of power the tournament of power because he overheard goku talking uh to it about it to gohan and then we have a little bit of goku and gohan doing what they called image training trying to imagine who would be suitable for the tournament and they're like kind of picturing them in the situations that they might be in and they, they showed Krillin fighting uh, one of the, the wolf gang members you know, like what, what, what they thought would have happened between that fight and um, so they they eventually concluded that Krillin would be suitable they also concluded that Master Roshi would be suitable which is strange because I mean I'm pretty sure Yamcha should be stronger than this Master Roshi but they did say he had some tricky techniques and they finally explained why Goten and Trunks aren't going to be participating, and that's just because they're too inexperienced, Goku says. Uh, Supreme Kai definitely said, you know, hey, these guys have a lot of potential, and they really do. They can both go Super Saiyan, they can both fuse and become Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I mean, that's definitely would have been one of the best members on their team, but... They were just simply too inexperienced. They said that the, the, the battle's about knocking the opponent off the, the platform. And so it's not about a contest of power. Which means this tournament really might be uh, a little different than what we're used to in Dragon Ball Super. There might be a lot more strategy involved instead of just straight up brawls. And I honestly hoped for straight up brawls and like a, just a massive tournament. But uh, we'll see how this turns out. It's, it's it might be a little weird. The, the giant battle royale, I mean, they've never done something like that in Dragon Ball, but I do like that they're kind of exploring new ways to do their battles. I mean, even in the Goku Black arc, they had 2v2 battles, Zomasu and Goku Black versus Goku and Trunks and Goku and Vegeta back to back. And I mean, you know, they've never done these things in Dragon Ball. They always do the fights solo or something like that, and then the boss plows through everybody until Goku eventually defeats him. So. I mean, you know, Akira Toriyama or Toyotaro or I forget, uh, I forget who does the the sub anime versus the manga. I know Toyotaro does the manga or whatever, but whoever's doing Super right now in the anime version is definitely experimenting with new ways to kind of do their arcs. Like the, the entire structure of Dragon Ball is changing as a whole, and I. I think it's pretty unique and awesome. I mean, we've never, again, we've never seen these kind of things in Dragon Ball Z ever. So comment below and let me know what you guys think of the Tournament of Power, whether you wanted it to be a battle royale or just an actual 1v1 martial arts tournament the way that they usually have things, or are you are, are you happy that they're kind of exploring with new ways to, to just have these arcs done? I mean... At this point, Dragon Ball Z has done a lot, and things would be recycled at this point. So seeing how far they are and ideas aren't being recycled, to me, is honestly refreshing. Uh, I'm out, though, guys. I'll catch you all next week on BZ. Make sure you subscribe! And then watch the rest of our videos.